I've bosh banter in Prague, I've dressed up as a smurf, I've swapped lives with a German, bought strip pens in France, I covered teachers in sunscreen, nearly drowned in some foam, I had a naked massage, me and my mates had a laugh, I did. Go on, Chris. 24 years at the top end. Everyone join in. In other words, again, 24 years. Happened. Oh, they did that. Wow. I didn't think they would join in. That actually happened. Yeah. Draw Master Sawyer, the book. This is our too hot for daytime box with the book in it for no particular reason. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why is there a box? Yeah. <laughs> Right, okay. Mr. Mills, I'd like to take you to my 21st year at the tap end if you're keen. I am Alice Lakeen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, Chris Keen Aguilera right. today because yes. I'm dirty. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, ready? Ready. The lads were high in spirits and up for a night ahead as we arrived at the apartments we'd be staying in in the centre of Prague. For the first time ever, as a group, we had somehow managed to book ourselves decent accommodation opposite an adult DVD store. A fitting tribute to the great man Chazadi, whose birthday it was. There was no time to hang around though. We dumped bags, mussed up, and each man got ready in their own special way. What do you mean? Uh, I'll, I'll crack okay, on. Okay, come on. Cantona had his pre-match poo. Webbo donned his finest blazer. And not having time for a shower, Scouse washed his... He washed his twig and berries in the sink. The lads were ready, and our rep Mike, who was from the company we booked our weekend with, was keen to get us out into town. He was a great man. He looked like a mixture of Bon Jovi and Peter Stringfellow. <laughs> we were his sheep, and we were keen to follow. We really looked up to who him. Who is this bloke? This so from it, a tour company? Yeah, it was um, a certain piss-up company. Mm. And what they do is they just take groups of lads out to certain cities right. and just give them a good time. Okay. And this is the guy they sent us. And you looked legend. up to him? He, he just seemed to know what he was doing. He knew the right places to go. Yeah. First things first, food. And Mike the Rep had sorted his right out. The local delicacy, a dish called steak and tits. <laughs> was that actually on the menu? That's actually on the menu. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> the restaurant was busy. And in a move I've yet to see on MasterChef, Two ladies were helped onto the middle of our table and proceeded to dance. It distracted from the steak, and other people dining did not look impressed. What were they wearing? What do you mean? Strippers. They started in clothes, but then um, as the well, the, the mains were served, and then that was almost their cue to just start taking their clothes off. All oh, right, so as soon as the steak arrived, then tit. Yeah. Steak and tits. Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, it's quite literally as your meal would be served. You've got your steak, awesome. you've got your sides. What uh, which in this case tin. was uh, tits. Yeah. <laughs> Mike the Rep explained to one of the ladies that it was Chaz's birthday. She looked excited at this news and smiled towards him. She seemed keen. Against all odds, we even thought he may have actually pulled. We had high hopes that it was one of those kind of places where the British accent could get you girls. She's a stripper. <laughs> yeah, but it always seems like more liberal out in Europe, doesn't it? I mean, you always feel like you've got more of a chance, I think. OK. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> they showed their affection by pouring candle wax on Chaz. Why? He d again, I don't know. Must be a European thing. Has anyone else had that in Europe? <laughs> there we are. Just Cornwall. All oh, right, Cornwall. Yeah. Cornwall happens. Yeah. Not, not so much anywhere else. He didn't protest, and Cantonar explained that it was all perfectly natural. How does he know? Because he's French. Oh. <laughs> Cantonar was on top form that night. On one visit to the toilet, he returned with a selection of blue pills he'd bought from the toilet's vending machine. A herbal Viagra called Zeus. <laughs> Unsure about the legalities of ten blokes walking around Prague city centre with boners, I was reluctant at first. I had concerns as to how long-lasting the effects would be, and I certainly didn't want to be the last boner standing. <laughs> Why did you all take them at once? It just, um, seemed, it just seemed like a laugh. <laughs> Okay, then. I felt we were only seeing one side of Prague. 
A couple of us were keen to see some culture and I made my feelings clear to Mike the rep. Mike led us to what looked like a classier establishment. It looked like a concert hall. It wasn't, it was another strip club. Mike justified this by pointing to a sign on the door which said exotic and another that said classy. We sat down and ordered in some more beers, except for Webbo, who had a Baileys. He's that kind of guy. He order, He always orders a Baileys, doesn't he? Yeah, he's the kind of lad who, when we order some pizzas, will order a salad. Yeah. There's always one. Yeah. And a Baileys, please. As the stripping commenced, we were each handed a menu of alternative options. I didn't really have any interest in this, but one of the lads, Sammy, who liked to try anything once, had a word with the manager and came back looking excited. Ugh. Not like that. Right. We were all led into another room. The seats were arranged in a circle around one chair. For Sammy in the middle. Two girls emerged and began to make their way around, dancing with each of us. I felt a bit uncomfortable and was finding it difficult not to laugh. This was not a sexy experience and I was paranoid about anything causing my herbal Viagra to kick into gear. Everything was actually fine and above board until one of the girls made their way over to Sammy and draped a sheet over his lap. They began to remove his belt and unbutton his trousers. I looked around the room. This is not why I'd come to Prague to watch. Sammy was sat in front of me so I couldn't avoid looking at him in the eye. And then it began, an arm went under and I could see the sheet moving. We let the professionals do their thing. We were sure they had everything in hand. But time went on and nothing was happening. I looked to my left, Webbo looked uneasy. We weren't sure this was the luxury experience Sammy had, that Sammy had in mind. <laughs> but Sammy battled on. He was concentrating hard. Although he did look slightly crestfallen when the lady had to change hands. <laughs> looked to me for reassurance. Maybe it was the herbal Viagra. Maybe it was all of us looking at him. Or maybe it was the deep lack of emotional connection with his co-performer. Whatever the reason, the cork remained firmly in the bottle. The can had been shaken and wouldn't spray. His cracker had been pulled, but there was no bang. The people of Naples were prepared, but Vesuvius wouldn't blow. Basically, he wouldn't shoot his load. Sammy was forced to take matters into his own hands, not like Whoa. that, <laughs> and admit defeat. Handjob aside, the rest of the night was epic. It was my first city break, and it had taught me some valuable lessons. When in Prague, if in a hurry, a quick sink wash can suffice. Always order your food carefully. And never look your mate in the eye whilst he's being wanked off. <laughs> Alice hated that. I really don't know where to look. I don't know what to say. I was about to say, hope you enjoyed that. That was my prepared line. But Did you enjoy it, audience? <laughs> yeah. I think that was one of the most beautiful stories that I've ever heard. I'm going to pass on the rest of that to Steven Spielberg. That's, that's what really Please happened do. in Prague on late night, 24 years at the tap end, uncut. It's done now. It's Whatever you, happens you, from here will happen. You know, they've serialised Joanna Lumley's autobiography on Radio 4, so I'm thinking... Uh, could this happen. could happen. Should and we have um, the, uh, the theme tune? Time? Yep. Yeah. Theme okay, tune. one last time to play us out. Yep. I've bosh banter in Prague, I've dressed up as a smurf, I've swapped lives with a German, bought strip pens in France, I covered teachers in sunscreen, nearly drowned in some foam, I had a naked massage, me and my mates had a laugh. Everybody! Everybody! Everybody. 24 years at the top end. <laughs> 24 years. Part Krista, Scott Mills, and a accompanied by a band of band. <laughs>